the No Fate channel, checking in. And man, do we have a lot to discuss on this episode of Dad's Home Gym. I really wanna focus and have a discussion with you about how to choose the right barbell for your home gym, whether you should go cheap, whether you should go super expensive, and I'm gonna have this discussion all while reviewing this Seracot uh, orange utility bar from bellsofsteel.us. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I typically review a piece of home gym equipment to help you decide if it's right for your home gym, if it's right for your fitness and workout routine, and most importantly, if it's worth your hard earned money. But just as importantly as the equipment that you get in your home gym, it's important that you really do some due diligence and um, some soul searching with respect to what you should buy for your home gym. We've all seen the Instagram and social media posts of these like $30,000, $40,000 home gyms that probably are better than like Gold's in Venice. Um, and the reality is you can have the best equipment in the world, but if you're not using it or if it's not aligned with your workout routine, it's not gonna do you any good. Now, bellsofsteel.us has not just been some fly-by-night company that was created due to the V in 2020. They have been in business since 2010. They ship all of this stuff out of Oklahoma, and they've got a huge variety and selection, um, and their website is really, really good. So I'll put their website in the description. So barbells literally come in all different shapes, sizes, diameters, materials, and colors, and of course, cost. And if you're not really in the know of what you specifically want, it can be pretty daunting to figure out what's worth your hard earned money. So I wanna go over the different ends of the spectrum and talk about where I think the sweet spot is. Um, so one end of the spectrum, probably the most common end of the spectrum is to go cheap. You go on Amazon, you get some like $150 barbell and you're done with it, right? Unfortunately, that does have a lot of side effects. Number one being, you tend to get what you pay for and at that $150 mark and under, you're getting junk typically and unfortunately when you get it home you're not going to be happy with it it's not going to last as long as you would like and you probably are going to exceed the um, strength requirements of that bar and you might actually damage it fairly soon now the only only caveat to that the only exception to the rule when it comes to going super cheap is the fact that sometimes we have home gym equipment just for those off random moments when the gym is closed because it got flooded snow day, your kid's sick, you can't make it to the gym, the gym hours are off because it's a holiday, that type of stuff. Now there's one other issue that you need to consider when you go with a cheapo budget bar, and um, we're gonna talk about that just a little bit later on. The other end of that spectrum is to go super expensive, okay? You can go down the name brand route, there's tons of official name brand bars that are gonna cost you $400, and then by the time you get them in-house after shipping, you're looking at like 450 plus. Hey, you can even go get some professional professional Olympic powerlifting bar and spend a thousand dollars on it. The problem with going super, super expensive um, is frankly that most of us don't need it. Okay. We're not that strong. Now I will say I'm a big fan of following your dreams. I'm a big fan of just seeking out and enjoying your hobbies. So if having really nice pristine equipment that is top of the line in your home gym that is above and beyond what you can possibly use is something that you enjoy, something that you are a fan of and something that you or it's your hobby, I'm not gonna fault you for buying super, super expensive gym equipment. Now we have talked about both ends of the financial spectrum when it comes to barbells, but let's talk about the dead center. What I happen to think is the sweet spot with respect to value, where you spend a decent amount of money for all of us, but we don't break the bank, but you get a really good return on your investment. And that's why I'm talking about this Bells of Steel Cherokot Utility Bar. Now I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Cherokot, Cherokot. Listen, don't kill me. Just let me know in the comments below how it's supposed to be pronounced. It is a ceramic polymer coating that keeps the bar lasting longer. It helps prevent the bar from rusting. And frankly, it gives this bar a nice feel to it as well. This comes in two colors. They sell one in blue and they sell one in orange. And of course I got the orange. So let's quickly talk about price. And that's really what this video is about, is about getting good value for that price. And not just good value, great value. So we talked at the beginning about going cheap. And one of the problems about going cheap is that you're already committing a good amount of money. You go cheap, you're already still spending like 150 bucks. Now, this bar comes in at $250 shipped. Okay, why is that important? 
It's 2021, UPS, FedEx, everyone is going up on their delivery charges and that cost is going right back into the consumer. We know when a website offers free shipping, it's never free. They work it into the cost of the bar, but it's nice because listen, most of us, we're not picking up huge, massive packages of home gym equipment. We're not gonna just hit that buy it now button and get like $2,000 uh, worth of gym equipment. So we're not gonna get any discounts on hitting that max cap on shipping. So it's nice to see free shipping. It also makes it easier to quantify how much you have to pay for a barbell. I can't tell you the number of times I saw one price on a website, I go to check out and they slap like a $53 shipping charge on that barbell, which puts that price of that barbell in a completely different range than I had thought it was. Okay, so let's go over the bells and whistles, the meat and the potatoes of this bellsofsteel.us utility bar. It comes in, like I said, $250, but what do you get for that? You get a seven foot bar, Cherokot finish, you get middle knurling. What does middle knurling mean? It means it's nice to hold, easy to hold, good to work with, but it doesn't chew up your hands, okay? You're not gonna have to like get lotion and file down your calluses afterward. It is a really nice bar. It's not slippery, feels good. You've got mid knurling here dead center. So if you do enjoy squatting, this is gonna help the bar stay attached to your upper traps or your back or however you squat high, low, or in the middle, it doesn't matter. Deadlift, bench, squat, cleans, overhead press. It can do it all and at that $250 price tag. But how much can it hold? So often we see, if you ever gone to a local gym, you might see barbells that are bent, that are ruined. How much can this thing hold? It has a max capacity of a thousand pounds. Now for me, that's frankly 800 pounds more than I need for what I use it for. Fair enough. Now, for those of you who are strong, I know many of you are not gonna hit that thousand pound barrier. Let's just face it, none of you are hitting that thousand pound barrier. But let's talk about the quality of the bar. When you see a thousand pound cap, your car, right? Your car can probably hit 200 miles an hour on the odometer, right? But you're never ever sure you're gonna push the engine to 200 miles per hour, okay? I would say if you're gonna be within 20% of that max, then you should go up and above on that bar. What does that mean? If you're gonna be lifting, let's just say 800 pounds, if you're gonna be putting 800 pounds on this bar, whether it's for a deadlift, a rack pull, a sumo deadlift, whatever, then you probably don't wanna use this bar. You wanna to go to a higher quality bar. But for the rest of us mere mortals, we're probably never even gonna dream of putting 500 pounds on this bar. I couldn't picture doing 500 pounds on this bar, even if I was gonna do some ego rack pull that I might even suggest not to do, but that's a different story altogether. You're never gonna hit the cap on this bar. As far as the diameter of the bar, 28.5, just for a reference, Olympic bars are 28. Powerlifting bars are 29. Every bar you have ever lifted in a local gym, 28 and a half. Um, mid knurling, as I already mentioned, as far as shipping, this thing gets shipped like a Russian egg. I mean, this thing, they really go above and beyond with respect to care for this bar. I was actually very, very impressed. I will say they've been in business since 2010, so it's not their first trip to the rodeo in terms of selling a barbell and making sure it arrives as it should. The last thing I want to tell you with regards to bellsofsteel.us, and then I'll get off riding their sack, is that they've got a 30-day guarantee. That means they're not a hit it and quit it type of company. They're not looking to sell you just one piece of equipment. They're looking to sell you your entire home gym. So they wanna deliver great quality service and they stand behind their products. I gave you the specs and how it handles. How have I liked it? I've loved this bar. I really enjoy this bar. It feels good in the hand. I'm a big fan of medium knurling where you get a nice good grip, but it doesn't chew up your hands. I've been benching with it. I've been curling with it because I curl, I curl in the squat rack and I have been doing shrugs with it. I've been doing some deadlifting just a little bit um, and it just has felt good. And even when my hands get sweaty, um, it doesn't, the bar doesn't chew up my hands. As far as rotation on, on, my, on my curls, uh, it, it just, the rotation is really nice, really smooth. The plates slide over the, the, these caps nice and it's just, it's an all around good bar, man. I can't say enough good things about it at 250 delivered to your home. Frankly, I think this is gonna over exceed your expectations. How long do I expect this bar to last? I'll be honest with you, it's gonna outlast me, okay? When I'm long, gone, long and gone, this barbell is still gonna be a barbell and it's still gonna be lifting all of the weight, way more than I can possibly hope to lift with it. If you've got any questions with regards to this bellsofsteel.us barbell, drop it in the comments below. Please check out that website. They've, they've done some really good things on their website and I think they're a stand-up company and I wish more people 
would look outside of the top three or the top four home gym retailers to see what all of their options are. Because frankly, I think you need to check out all your options to make sure you're getting the right decision and the right bar and the right home gym equipment for you. Now, if you've come this far in the video, please give this video a like, hit that subscribe button down over here. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.